my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 14 chapter Jesus the Son of God. Jesus took his disciple to a high mountain. He went up with Peter, James and John, the brother of James. So Jesus was going up. With Peter, you just was going up to the mountain with Peter, James, and John, the brothers of James. They're going to up to the high mountain. The disciple talked to one another. Why are why are we here? I don't know, Jesus must know. Then Jesus' face began to shine. Jesus' clothes began to shine. The disciples were very afraid. So, the disciples talked to one another and, like, why we're here? Why we're here? Like, they were, like, talking to each other, but they didn't know. But they said, Jesus must know. Jesus' face and clothes began to shine. And the disciples were very afraid. Disciples are very afraid because like Jesus was, began to shine. Then Moses and Elijah appeared and talked with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, I like here. I want to set up three tents here. One for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. So like suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared and they talked each other and Peter were really like surprised. Because they were Jesus and Moses Moses and Elijah has died. They were very surprised. Oops. And Peter wanted to make street tents, one for Elijah, and one for Jesus, and one for Moses. <laughs> when Peter was saying that suddenly a shining cloud covered them, this is my son, who I love. Listen to him. God sat in the cloud. The disciples were terrified. They fell face down to the ground. So, like, suddenly, a cloud appeared. And the voice, God said, this is my son. Jesus is my son who I love. Listen to him. When Jesus, when they stood up 
there were no one except Jesus. God told you the Son of God, said the disciple. So, God said, Jesus is the, um, Jesus is the Son of God. And really, Jesus is the Son of God. The disciples were very like surprised Be and when they do that they were only Jesus Now the disciple got to know that Jesus was the Son of God. Fifteen chapter, a greedy rich man. There was a rich man. He had a big farm. He had a big storm house, storehouse. He had a good house. He had lots of money. He really had many good things. So, a rich, there was a rich man. Yeah. He really had enough things, like many food, a storehouse, big storehouse, a good, a good house. He had many things. The rich man didn't know what to do with all those things. I have to big, build more storehouse, he said. Said the man, I'm going to take, I'm going to make bigger storehouse. The rich man loved the things he had. He loved these things more than he loved God. The rich man didn't thank God for the things he had. He didn't share with his neighbors. She, uh, he said, I will enjoy all the things I have. I won't give anything to others. They are all mine. I need them all. Actually, the man doesn't have to take those things because he already has very big storm house. Uh, store houses and he has a big and good house and lots of money and like food but he didn't like Gay, share with the neighbors. You will die tonight, said God. If you die tonight, others will take everything you have. The rich man didn't want to listen to God. He didn't even believe it. He died that night. After all, then other people came to take everything what rich man had. God gave everything to us. We have to share our things with our friends. Uh, the greedy rich man didn't listen to God. And we should listen to God. And these things we have is from God. God gave us everything. Yesterday, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time, I'll read another good story. Now, let's see you next time. Bye!